Billy at Pharaoh's Lead Farm. So uh, it's October 2017, and in Iowa, let's talk suppressors. So we got a pile of suppressors. Uh, we've been doing it longer than most of the dealers have in Iowa. We've had our license for six years, um, but I've never seen it as good as it is right now. So the cans are cheaper, and the wait time is short. It used to take me a couple of months to get them. Now I get them the next day. So if I order whatever you want to the next day, we do stock a pile of them. Um, and for the prices, you can get a 30 cal suppressor that you can put on 223 as well, and it's 400 and some dollars. So which is really well. For those of you guys waiting for the hip butt pass, so I would stop waiting and I would buy it now. Cause like I said, it's about a four month wait time. That uh, HPA is, you know, let's get over ourselves. That, that ain't happening. You know, those guys uh, couldn't save a baby on fire in the street if they all had to get in line and vote for it. It just ain't going to happen. Um, I donated money for it. I'm still a pipe dreamer. I wish it would, but it ain't going. So buy your cans now uh, while you can. I think it's more likely that they'll actually go backwards. You know, you look at Iowa with fireworks. It was legal last year. Now they're starting to take it away. You know, things happen pretty fast in politics, and I would say, buy in the heyday. Today's the good old days. But right here, right now, um, if you look at some of these, we suppress 9mm cans, 9mm uh, rifles. This is 7.62 by 39. We have 12 gauge suppressors for freaking 12 gauges for crying out loud. Everybody, everybody needs one of those. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to put these suppressors inside of a rail. So this is a nine millimeter. Uh, this is a machine gun, which we also have here at the lead farm. But you'll screw the suppressor inside this rail. So it's just a short rail, and then it screws inside there. Makes for a nice clean little look on this nine millimeter. Um, but that's probably not as common. For some, that's common for you. So here's a couple of my coyote rifles. This is a 5.56 gun that I run for night vision, and I use this 30 cal suppressor. So I just have uh, a $20 adapter that goes on the end if you want to come over here and you'll see. So I just have an adapter that goes on the end of my 5.56 gun and then when I want to run it on a 308 or this, this is a 243 AR-10, then I just screw it right onto the end of the 243 and there you go. So I'm only paying that one that one tax stamp for that suppressor, and it's good for both these guns. In theory, if I wanted to run it on a 300 Blackout, it's good. If I wanted to put it on a 300 Wind Mag, 6.5 Creedmoor, that same can will do the same stuff. And like I said, we sell it for 400 and some dollars. You still pay the government their $200 tax stamp. But to reiterate, if you find me a tax that the government says they're okay with getting rid of and giving back to you, uh, I'll wait to hear your comments, but for now it is very hard to get the government to stop taxing you. So if that's what you're waiting for, I, I think you're going to be on the old freaking Today Show Smuckers here, you're 105 years old, sitting in the chair. So good luck, but anyway, look us up, Pharaoh's Light Farm, we have tons of suppressors, pistol suppressors, 22 suppressors, you name it, we got it. So thanks for watching.